Do you have high functioning depression? In a lot of ways, somebody with high functioning depression is just like these two balloons. Can you guess which one is the balloon that's frozen with frozen water in it? Can you guess which balloon is just a normal balloon? They look identically the same. They're about the same size, but they are completely different on the inside. So this one is the frozen one. This one is the, the regular balloon on the outside everything looks fine looks normal and people ask you hey how are you doing you're probably gonna say i'm fine i'm great how are you doing but on the inside you're frozen so on the outside so this balloon the latex balloon that's the, what's the mask that's the fa facade that you're experiencing and one of the things that you don't really show on the outside is actually how you're feeling. So you want to show people, I don't know if you can see that, you want to show people that you're feeling happy. But on the inside, you're actually frozen. And when you're cold and frozen, I can't really see it that well, you're frozen on the inside. So this is what you want people to see that's what you're really feeling on the inside. And so when you really get cold on the inside, you feel like so many things are bogging you down. It's heavy. This balloon is way heavier than this balloon. When you try to live with all of the things going on in your life, you might be high functioning. You might have a lot going on in your life. You might be an all or nothing thinker. And, and you have an inner critic that I have to do this or else, or you're giving so much of yourself to other people that you're not really filling your own tank. And so on the outside, you look like a normal balloon, but on the inside, it's frozen. And so what happens to a frozen balloon? It becomes a frozen ball. Let's see if I can get this. So I'm gonna take this latex off. Oh, let's see, this is a lot harder than it looks. I'm gonna take the outside layer off of this balloon. And look, it's no longer red on the inside. You take the mask off, it is completely a solid piece of ice. You see that? It is really cold, it's heavy, and I'm gonna put it inside this. So, I put it in this jar. You're in this jar and you, when you have high functioning depression, you feel like you're constrained. You think that you have to perform at a certain level. Now I have these other things here on my table. One is baking soda and the other is vinegar. And you know what happens when you put the two together. On one hand, it's just baking soda. You can use it for so many different things. Vinegar is good for a lot of things, but when you add the two together, it creates this tension between the two elements. So on one hand, you have this frozen balloon, and then I'm gonna mix it with this baking soda and this vinegar. And when you have high functioning depression, all of these things work well together, but when you mix them together, that's when it becomes volatile. That's when you shut down, that's when you don't feel like you wanna get out of bed at times. Now, you can go to work, you can go to school, but inside is what you feel either frozen or if things are just not right on the inside. So let me pour some of this baking soda on, on my frozen balloon here. So, can you see that? So we got baking soda on there and nothing's happening. Right, it can keep adding things to it and nothing happens to it. But as soon as I add some vinegar to it, and imagine this vinegar, this is more stress, more deadlines you have to keep, more, more, more things you have to do. And the more you feel like things that you have to do, it's more pressure on yourself. And when there's more pressure on yourself, nobody sees what's going on in the inside. So if, if I didn't undo this, take it off of here, you wouldn't know what was going on the inside. Add a little bit more stress, a little bit more to your cup, so to speak, you're going to have a volatile reaction on the inside. So let's see what happens. So when you start to really feel pressure and stress, look at that. 
Look at that. It's volatile. I didn't need to have to add that much. And it's just really getting the best of you. That's what high functioning depression does. Now this is a normal regular balloon and everything's fine. It's not frozen. It's not volatile on the inside. And so it's functioning just fine. But when you have high functioning depression, that's when you start to feel the pressure on the inside. And what happens is more and more pressure and more stress and more things that you feel like you have to do, the worse it becomes on the inside and you start to fizzle out. You get burnt out with life and you can only go so long for so often, you're gonna eventually burn out. And so it's gonna be just like this reaction here, right, the baking soda and the vinegar and the frozen balloon. And so what I want to help you with is before you get to this volatile situation, before you become a frozen balloon, let's work on, okay, when you start to get cold, right, that's my analogy, when you start to get cold, meaning that you're starting to shut down, maybe you stop doing the things that you used to do that you loved to do, or maybe you start resenting all the things that you have to do for people. And you start to look at your own life and say, well, what about me? I've said no to myself way too often. And what happens, this balloon on the outside looks like a balloon to everybody else, but it starts to freeze on the inside, just like here. You didn't know at, by looking at the balloon until I cut it off that it was frozen. And it's a slow, gradual freeze. And that's what high functioning depression does. It slowly gets you. It slowly freezes inside you. It may not reach the level of clinical depression. And, and here's the thing. When you feel like that, well, I can probably muster through this day. I could probably go to work and be fine. I just, I'll just gotta fake it till I make it. I'm just gonna white knuckle it. And what happens is a little bit of freeze starts to develop. And maybe it's a slow freeze for some of you. And then all of a sudden it, life gets heavy, just like this frozen balloon. Life gets heavy. And then life pours some baking soda on your balloon. And then it pours some vinegar on your balloon. And it creates this volatile thing on the inside. And so how do you get there? How do you, when you start to feel that you are getting cold on the inside, that's your signal. Your body is trying to tell you, you got to do something. So learn to take breaks, learn to tell people no if you have to. Boundaries is a good thing. When you tell people yes to everybody, you're saying no to yourself. And you can only do that for so long and eventually you're gonna start freezing up. Eventually you're gonna allow the, the baking sodas of life and the vinegars of life to, to create this worst case scenario in your life. One day you might not wanna get out of bed. One day you might wanna just run away from it all. And you might develop into, it might turn into a mental breakdown and you might even have to go to the hospital. You might have to take off of work. And so when you ignore the elements inside you, when you ignore, gosh, I, I can't keep doing this. I can't keep saying yes. When you ignore yourself, that's when it's a recipe for disaster. And that high functioning depression, it may fool you, it might trick you into thinking, oh, you got this, you'll be fine, you'll be fine. I just got to keep doing it. I just got to keep white knuckling it through. But here's the thing. When you, when you start to say to yourself, I'm fine, I'm okay, things are going to work out. Those, that might be true, but in the meantime, when you ignore yourself, then that's when you start to freeze up. You want to be a regular balloon, right? You want to be a regular balloon you want to start to thaw out. So when you recognize that you're freezing up, how do you thaw out? And you start to thaw out by learning to say yes to yourself. And you might have to say no to other people and to other things. Learn to take breaks, learn to find things that you enjoy, find things that are life-giving, that fill your cup, not with baking soda and vinegar, but fill your cup with water, living water and that energizes you. I want to encourage you, you might be feeling 
salad, frozen salad right now. And on the outside, it looks like everything is fine, but on the inside, we know it's not. Don't ignore yourself. Stop keeping things from in, in your life from enjoying them. And it's not selfish. It's not something that making you in to a, a bad person, not at all. It's you recognizing that you deserve a break. You deserve something fun in your life because your body is telling you otherwise. Something is not right and you're starting to freeze. So if you think you have high functioning depression and you're starting to freeze, learn how to start saying yes to yourself and no to other people. It's okay to say no. You've been saying no to yourself for too long. Don't let the baking soda in the vinegar connect in your life. Do something about it. You might have to talk to somebody. You might need to go to therapy. You might need to just get away where it's just you. Maybe it's just sitting and finding time and sitting on the couch. Just you. Maybe it's reading a book just for you. Maybe it's watching a TV or going to a movie or maybe it's going on a hike just for you. That's the key. It's just for you. So high functioning depression is just like See how this is starting to melt? You can have things being sucked out of you, but allow, allow the normal temperatures of life, the good things of life, to slowly melt. And then eventually, you'll be as light and airy as this balloon. I know it's kind of cheesy, but I think it drives home the importance of Knowing your limits, knowing what you need, and knowing what you need to take out of your life. Does that make sense? All right, great. So make sure you watch this other video about depression as well. Keep working on you, and that's what's going to help. You don't want to be a frozen balloon anymore. You want to be a normal, regular balloon. <laughs>